My name's John, uh, John Holton, and I've been working at Clang now for a number of years. Currently, we're working on the second season of our podcast, The Life Cycle. The Life Cycle. A podcast about the future of humanity. Hi, and welcome. As the name suggests, we're looking at the life cycle of humans, from birth to death to rebirth and renewal. And we're doing so with an eye on the future. The first season was a lot of fun to make. Myself and my co-host and co-producer, Ava Caddy, explored all sorts of things from people who put chips inside their brains to the future of the internet. I'm Ava. I co-host the podcast, The Life Cycle, and we're currently producing season two. Whoa. Hello. Hi, John. Hey, Ava. How's it going? Good. So you enjoy a drink, right? Yeah, you could say that. What if I told you that you could have the good times without the bad times? Oh my gosh. This is basically looking at the, all the best things of alcohol specifically. Yeah. Uh, but without the, the poison. Exactly. Okay. We think of topics that might be interesting, um, that are future related, um, that might be of interest to people who are interested in seed, but also vice versa. Everybody's concerned with the future. I think it's interesting, like regardless of what your background is. The tagline to seed is like simulating the future of humanity. So the premise of the game is a large scale simulation of human life on another planet. The podcast is basically a way for us to interview really smart people and experts about what they do. And then we can use that knowledge to not just help ourselves make a better game, but then of course make something really entertaining for our community and our, our wider audience. Kind of a win-win for everybody, kind of. <laughs> Hopefully, that's the idea. When you started working at Clank, did you think that you would become a, the host of a podcast? Uh, no, it wasn't necessarily in the, in, the, in the conversation, but it was probably there somewhere. You and I actually talked about the ideas of Robin Hansen in season one, when we looked at the idea of the Great Filter as one answer to the Fermi Paradox. Um, the Fermi Paradox is the weird fact that if the universe is teeming with life, why haven't we come across it yet? Yes. I think of it really like an album. I know that's like uh, maybe pushing it a bit, oh. but the first season was self-contained and like with seven episodes and this time we've got, you know, 10 or so episodes. And so it's, it's kind of feels like it begins in the past. We go all the way into the future. Yeah. One thing that's different this season, I actually feel like it's more optimistic. Yeah. Than, la than the last season. Because it's a podcast about the future, we have a lot of backward looking moments where we kind of look at history. And I think like there is a kind of solace sometimes to be found in, you look at history and you know, the history of humanity is pretty messed up. Yeah. We always kind of come out the other side of it. Okay, let's go. Now what? Yeah, now what? <laughs> <laughs>